Hi, this is Marcia. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. Thank you for joining me. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, so I'm happy to be back in my studio today, feeling fantastic and ready to bring you another 10 minute tip video. And today is all about quick and easy signature pages that we're going to decorate with a belly band. And I wanted to show you in this beautiful journal that I made a few years ago how I did this. This I was just a piece of ribbon, so fabric ribbon. We're going to be working with fabric today. And I cut the length for the whole page, both pages, double sides. So this is a double page belly band. It's not a single page belly band. And then I brought it around the back and glued it. And this was an altered book, by the way, this was not a regular junk journal that I did. So if you want to go back and watch that video, click on my videos and you'll be able to find it. And I have over, how many videos do I have now? I think like 300. So um, I, will, I will try to go find it. And if it's in the description box below, and then I'll put the link, direct link there for you. But just look for this picture um, on the front of the video so that you'll know. And it's altered book series. It's, so if you go and click on videos and um, what's that selection called? Oh, series, I forget what, it, what is it called when you're clustering things together, anything, whatever that's called. I can't remember not, the name right now. Anyway, so I brought it over the back of this page and then now um, I glued it here and then you have the belly band here and I put this here and then you have the belly band here. So what I did, I want to show you, is just I've taken a piece of cardstock, folded it like an envelope, and tucked it in. This one I did the same thing. This was a book page. And then all I did was put um, a piece of plain uh, copy paper or my art paper here on the inside so that this was a journaling spot now. Isn't that cool? And then I just stitched around to give, and if you notice, <laughs> I had stitched the book page before I put the white paper on. But either way, you could do it either way. And then let me show you one other one I did. Okay, so this is the same technique and it's glued here in the middle, glued here, and the pages, I glued these pages together. So there's a pocket here, there's a pocket here. So this was ribbon. This had the wire that I took the wire out. And if you, if you know how to, um, if you don't know how to do that, I don't know if I have a piece of wire ribbon here handy dandy, but if you just look at the ends, you'll see the wire and just pull the wire right out. Plastic, wire, whatever comes right out. And then now you have a pliable piece of ribbon instead of with the wire, unless you want to keep the wire. And so I just put an embellishment here. This was from a piece of fabric. I cut that out and I stitched that onto there and then I made a tag for both pockets and I just layered fabric pieces here, did a collage. And so all of the steps are in that past video. Isn't these gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I just love this journal. Okay, so altered book, altered book journal. And, but we're gonna do belly bands. I think those were the only two belly bands in the whole book. So just wanted to show you those really quick. So that was my other 10 minute tip. Go back to a journal you've completed and look through the pages for inspiration. Unlock that creativity by looking in journals you've made in the past and duplicate those designs. It's going to be obviously with different patterns and papers and textures and colors, but it's going to make your job and your life so much easier by getting ideas right from your previous projects. And it's so, so wonderful, so easy. This page was just a, a beautiful, page and looking at this now, what inspiration it gives me. And then to go back through it and little tuck spots and pockets that I've put in here. And I love these little fabric tabs on the sides and how I made those. And then the cute little dangles that I put on here. So th this was a labor of love project. So this one goes back up on the shelf. I did a wax seal there, some of the yo-yos that I've made and vintage buttons and embellished that. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love this fabric. This was a vintage fabric I'd had in my stash for huh, 
goodness gracious, over a decade or more. So now to bring us up to speed today, what are we going to use in this 10 minute tip video for making a fabric belly band? Fabric, of course, but we're not going to just use any old fabric. We don't want flimsy fabric. We want the sturdy, thick cotton fabrics. Don't get your silks and your polyesters and all those slippery sliding ones. We want the ones that are durable. Now this happened to be a curtain, a vintage curtain, and I believe this is like a, a bark cloth fabric, and I could actually separate it and take that off. But I, and you can see, look at all that beautiful woven uh, texture there of the cotton. But I'm leaving the, the backing of it on for that extra sturdiness and durability. And if you want to take it up a notch and make it a uh, snippet roll, then by all means, just have fun. Now this page here, what I'm going to show you are the book pages in this signature. And I've made three journals and I'm just putting in one signature. This was my collage board that I did that was double-sided, and I had a whole video on doing that, and I actually made it from a poster board. And then I just collaged and painted and textured the whole thing up, stamped it, you name it, inked it. <laughs> I did it on here. So I was saying I was going to use one of those to make journals, and that's what I did. So I finally cut it down to size, made three of them, love this size. Here's the signature. I have not sewn it in yet, and so I wanted to show you we're going to um, make these pages and decorate these pages together. So today's 10 minute tip video is making a fabric belly band, and what I've done and what we're going to do on each of the book pages, we're going to put a belly band. So I'm going to do one with you today. So front and back is going to have the fabric belly band. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, and it's going to be so quick and easy, you will just love this project. Take it to the sewing machine or glue it if you don't want to sew. Then sew it down this edge, sew it down this edge, put your identical piece on the back. So I've cut some of these pieces here. This was the other end of the curtain, and so this one has the double edge. Let me cut this piece here off. Let's see if I can do it without. You know, I don't want to take away from this whole vintage feel of the thing. And so let me move the journal out of the way. Okay, so now so we have this one here. Just gonna flip it over so I can see the edges there. We're just going to line it up and now we have, we know exactly where they are, exactly where we want to sew them, and I have my clips here, so I'm going to take it and put a clip on this end. You could use clothes pens. I have clothes pens. I use clothes pens. You can use a paper clip, whatever you want to use, but just something that will hold them into, into their place, into position. So now you have them, voila. Two belly bands, quick and easy. Quick like a bunny, like I used like to say. Now, once this goes into the journal and the signature pages are all decorated, I will take it to the sewing machine and we will s stitch straight down the middle. And yes, it will go through all these layers. You may want to put a heavy duty denim needle on your machine. I would highly recommend that. I happen to have a commercial industrial machine, and so my husband, I will have him sew on there. This is like a, it's a vintage Singer heavy duty monstrosity. This is a table, six foot table, with the machine built into it. So it was, it was gifted to us uh, during the beginning of the pandemic for sewing, making masks, and so now I, I just love having it. All right, so this one here is, it's scooted over. I want to make sure I get them straight to the edge. You can see how it's 
got a little bit of wiggle room right there okay so just make sure you smooth it out get all the little bumps and wrinkles out turn it over same thing here lift it up get all the little bumps and wrinkles out make sure everything is nice and nice and smooth and tight okay now then when we take it to the machine keep those holding them snug and then zip down here and zip down here so i will do that and then i will be back and again if you want to take it to a next notch what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start um, gluing little embellishments uh, to these i'm not going to sew the rest of it because i just didn't i just i'm not in the mood to do that today but i just wanted to show you this and th show you how quick and easy it is to do that so i hope you enjoyed this 10 minute tip video i will continue decorating this but i will be back don't go anywhere okay so i need to have two for this book page and where did i put the other one two for this book page okay so that's four more and so what we're going to do is i'm thinking let me look at this one okay so one and a half okay so it's one and a half inches wide the length was already determined for us from the page so isn't that nice look at how nice that is i love it so sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. I love sewing things into the pages because, I mean, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so one and a half inches. We're going to take our little ruler and we're going to get an ink pen. And then we're just going to make a mark so that I can more or less, I this and cut it i do have a um, fabric ruler and all that kind of thing but i'm really not worried about doing that okay doggy yes i like to live live dangerously Okay, so now it's just like driving down the road. Let's just put this to something that we're familiar with. Let's say, you know, how when you're driving down the road and you know you have to keep your vehicle in the center of those two lines, which is in your lane, correct? Are you with me? Okay. So just use that ability of judging distance and centering with driving. So now we're going to take this and as I'm going along, I am going to keep looking at the dots ahead. And then I'm going to keep my scissors lined up with those dots. So the best way that I could. See? And it's okay. Cause, all right. So so here it kind of kind of little went on a little 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 trip there, but that's okay. No biggie, right? Yes. Okay, then we're going to trim this down. I'm going to decide. I think I do want the colorful side to be here so then I'll trim that down but now now this is our little template so we're going to take our template and we're going to do that and I could have done that yes with the other one but too late I've already sold it to the page okay so we're going to hold that little guy in place there and hold it in place up here this is, a, this is all in the 10 minute tip video. Look at what you're getting today with this video. I mean, you're learning how to make a quick belly band out of fabric. And then look at all the other little side tips that are coming along in this video. Okay. So now, now you know that that piece is not going to go anywhere. And now you can cut a straight line. Okay. Voila! Our good okay. We needed four. Okay, so just line it up. Put your little clamps. Hold them all together. Are you with me? Hope so. This is so quick and easy. Okay. 
This is the way Marcia does it. And maybe some of you do it this way too. I would love to hear in the comments if this is the way you do things. If not, tell me that this is the first time you've seen it and that you like it. Okay, holding all four of them now. Keeping them together. And even if you had a clothespin, using a clothespin, obviously it's going to stay in place. Okay. And it's okay. It is perfectly okay if they get a little bit wider as you're cutting and going along. Okay? Don't worry about that. We are not stressing over the width of these belly bands. Okay. There's the fabric left over going to go back in his little bag now okay i shall need you guys in a memento all right so and just place it on the page where you feel comfortable okay don't worry about where is it on the page if it's you know you want to have it to be a little higher up on the page if i wanted to come up here and cover up the stitching, I could do that. If I wanted to come down here, I could do that. So just put it wherever you want your belly band to go. Okay, and again, I'm going to pull it over so I can see the edges. Flip it over. And now put them down. Isn't that pretty? That fabric, the colors in this fabric here. I think I'm going to turn you around this way. I like that. But, okay, so now that is going to go like that. We're going to take one of our little clamps. Hold these in place. Okay, now this side we can trim. Okay, oh, these are perfect to go on a snippet roll. So we're not going to toss them. We're going to put them to the side. <coughs> Okay, ta-da! Go ahead and do this one as well. We might as well over here. Okay, yeah, this one I forgot. I forgot. Yes, okay, I already have two pieces. So this was whip stitched. You can see this is this is a handmade curtain. See, it's whip stitched here by hand. Okay, so this piece is double. So I'm just gonna lay him over here to the side. Okie dokie. This is the top, and then turn it over. Okay, that has a hole in it. Shh, don't tell anybody. There's a hole right there. Okay, so I can pull it over here because we're going to glue and we're going to just we're going to cover up that little hole. I like the yellow better, so we're going to pull him down. Okay, put him over here. Okay, bring the edge out. Bring the edge out so that I can see where I have it. Yeah, I want it to be bring him down a little bit more. Okay, the same exact process. Take it over to the machine and stitch away, which I did use a zigzag stitch, by the way. Okay, two more little perfect things. Okay, now, okay, just to show you, demonstration purposes, ta-da, clothespin or clamps both work perfectly. And I like to work with it with it folded, it's a little crooked there, bring him down a little bit. Don't know how he got a little crooked there on me, but anyway, he did. Okay, turn you back over. This one looks pretty good. This one needs to come up a little bit. Okay, now I'm happy with that one. It actually goes that direction. Yep, I like this. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. Take it to the machine. Stitchy, stitchy. And then we will be back. Alrighty, now to put the pages back into their place the way they were. Okay, so I have one of these decorative pages. 
then the book page. Then plain. And then this decorative page. And then another one of these decorative. Book page. Plain. And then this one. And then this decorative. And the book page. Okay. And boy, I'm already beginning to feel this signature take on oh, the dimension is so beautiful. All right, so that fabric is adding, look at the thickness it's adding to that. So this page is standing up that much from the, the rest of it. So when I go to sew this, <laughs> okay, Oops. I'm trying to line them up. You're wondering what am I, what am I doing? What is she fiddling with? I'm trying to line the pages up. Okay, now, now we're trying to get it into the book. I'm not liking what that's doing right there. So this may not stay as the front page. This is going to be the front page because it's making it pucker. I don't like the pucker. Okay, so let's come here. You know, all of these are fine. You don't see the pucker because now there's enough weight from all the other pages that it's, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't doesn't show up. Okay, this is cool. All right, so I'm going to just do that, and I will add him to the back. So there. Okay, this is better. All right. See? When it's all closed, you don't see it. You notice that? See? This is important. So now, always make sure when you're cutting the journal and this page, make sure your signature pages are cut shorter so that when they're folded, you see how in here I made sure, man, look at how close that is. It's coming close. I'll cut all these strings off later on. Not worried about it now. But notice this. Look at the difference. So you see in this one, there's a lot more space, but once I, just by adding that belly band, it really made a difference. Let's see if this one here, yeah, see the same thing. So I know I cut them all the same. So when it started, it was like a half an inch, but now it's like a quarter of an inch, which is fine. It's all good. Okay, so let's put him over into the center. There we go. So this is where this is going to be. And then I will take it to the machine and then that will secure all of the belly bands into place and then now what I will do is I'm going to make those um, faux envelope folded pages that I showed you in the beginning for each of these that are going to go in and we're going to do some tags this was a handmade paper that I had made I have a video on making handmade paper cutting up envelopes different color envelopes uh, using all, you know, you could use multiple, but then it kind of gets muddied up. So use the same color, and then I have plants in there, and I glued some flowers and what have you. So, let me see, what else do we want to do to this right now? I'm wondering, I've had this page, and I'm thinking what I will do, that would be so cute in here. It may not be on this particular page page I could I may put it on another one let me see let me see what I've got wherever it looks the best with the colors that I have going on on the page that one definitely not this one it could possibly go yes I like that not so much and is that the last one yeah okay so you could do that, you know, match it up. Where do you want it to be? Where do you want it? Where does it look the best? It could go okay on that one. I mean, it's okay here, but I, with this fruit. So what I'm going to do, 
this fruit paper. This was the pad that it came from, Fruit Paradise Prima. And I don't know, I got this off of scrapbook.com. But um, I think I've used that whole pad, actually, because I actually, I made, remember I made those 50 little mini scripture journals for my friend Rita. So I think I may have used all that paper up. I love this paper. But at any rate, we'll find something. So what I want to do is we're going to fold this. So now this is going to be sewn. I came in here. All right, let's see. What would we have? This is going to be a straight line here. So the zigzag. So we're looking at four, four and a half. Looks like I could squeeze out four and a half. And this is, I don't even know, is this a 12 inch ruler? Okay. So, yes, it's just, okay, just shy of like 11 and 7 eighths, 12 inches. Okay, so I'm finally memorizing those 3 eighths, 5 eighths, 7 eighths. Oh, I was so tired of not knowing that measurement. I said, this is ridiculous. Okay, so <laughs> I tickle myself. I know. Anyway. I hope you, get, hope you like my humor, but it's funny to me that it's like, okay, 4, 8, 12, 4 inches. We were at 4 and a half. But if I want to make it look like it's a little, you know, folded envelope kind of a thingamajiggy. So we would want to do it at 4 and a half. So we're going to score. Get the scoreboard. Don't. This one needs to be perfect. I love my rolling giant bookcase. If you want to see my craft room, I have a whole craft room tour video. You can go back and watch that and see what's in Marsha's craft room. Okay, so here's the scoreboard. Paper up here. Journal over there. Scissors back in their little place. And these are the best, 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 best of scissors. When all the ladies saw me using these scissors, they got them. So, you're welcome very much. Okay, now, four and a half, one and a half. Okay, now let's hope to goodness that this is going to fit into a little pocket. Yep, looks pretty good to me. Okay, now we're going to turn him around here, and I want, that's just a wee bit off. How did that happen? Okay, so let's straighten up that edge. Hmm, can't even, can't even trust a score line anymore. Okay, so, there. Now we fixed you. Okay, so I am going to score it here. Yeah, you don't want to score it right up next to the paper. You want to give a little space. Give a little spacey poo. Now, gorgeousness. Okay, now <laughs> let's see if it fits. If not, we'll save this for something else. But okay, so it comes in here. Okay, I can snug a bug it up right there. Okay, so here. So just okay. So just imagine now. I'm in, so I'm having to imagine. I'm going to sew it right here. So this has to be so really. I mean precise. And then oh yeah, look at how nice that's going to be. Isn't that darling? Look at how quick and easy that is. Just beautiful. If you want to give it an extra element of dimension, just take it and sew it all the way around the edge. You know here everything whole shebang, and then it'll be gorgeous. It'll look just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that is it for this video, and those are all my tips for today. Fabric belly bands, quick and easy, double-sided, and a cute little fold-over faux envelope. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and if you love this video, please hit that like button and share it so others can find it too. Bye-bye, keep creating in the sunshine, and stay safe.